Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Cooking with Abby, my cooking channel. So this is my first video on this channel. So I'm really, 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 really excited because today you're gonna cook with me. And also I have a surprise for you because it's the first cooking video that we make on this channel. I have my beautiful wife that's gonna join us today to make this recipe. We're gonna make some very, very, very tasty and nice seafood pasta today. One of my uh, wife's favorite dish. So please, baby, can you come in? <laughs> so, hi if, guys. If, if uh, some people don't know who who uh, Samantha is, can she's I my wife. Myself? Can I yes, introduce myself? Yes, okay. Come. Hi guys, I'm Samantha, even though I know maybe 97% of you are coming from the Dream Fam channel. I'm Samantha, I'm the lucky woman married to this gorgeous French chef. And like he said, we're gonna make my favorite. I love seafood, seafood pasta to be exact. And I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, so. I'm gonna show you today how to make this seafood pasta. It's really simple, take a little bit of time, but honestly, it's not, it's not that complicated. So here in front of you, you have the ingredients we're gonna use today. So you have to be generous in seafood. Um, so today I have two kinds. So I have uh, some mussels, you know, about like, a, I would say half pound and half pound of uh, shrimps. So as you can see, they are raw. This is really important that they are raw because we're gonna cook, cook it right now in a pan. So we need them raw and not cooked. Then we have some cherry tomatoes, some Parmesan cheese, some parsley some thyme, some garlic, some onions, some lemon, yeah, it's some olive oil, some uh, white wine, and some linguine pasta. Okay, so here I have a uh, half pound of pasta for two. First thing we're gonna do, okay? You ready? Yeah, I don't wanna um, do anything with the shrimp. Oh, you don't wanna do anything no. with the shrimp, so this I'm gonna have to take care of it? Yeah. Okay, so here I'm gonna give you a little knife and you're gonna peel me the, the garlic. Okay. okay. So here. You have your little trash right, okay. right here. Okay. Okay, you can do your garlic. So me, what I'm gonna do right now, guys, I'm gonna peel the shrimp. So can I tell them a little story when we, uh, while we're doing this? Uh, yeah, but first, before you tell a story, I'm mm -hmm. gonna uh, tell them, you know, just, just in case. <laughs> the important stuff. <laughs> yeah, because this is uh, a cooking channel at the end of the day. <laughs> so we have to uh, talk about cooking. <laughs> so here you have the shrimp, so you have Basically three parts, you know, the head, the body, and the tail. So for today, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take out the um, the head. Oh, this is the skin that's on top of the body. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna keep some shrimp with tail, and some we're gonna take it off. Okay, it's just for the decoration with the tail. It looks better. So we're gonna keep exactly six shrimp with tail. And the rest we gonna just take out the tail. So now, you go go ahead, baby. Go I ahead. can tell my little story. Yeah, you can. Tell and if, if it's if it gets too long, you know, you I, well, I actually do the editing, but <laughs> <laughs> so um, when me and LB first got together, a long, long, long time ago, we were obviously we didn't have any kids, and we were just really free. You know, it was just a completely different time in our lives. And we just wanted to travel. That's that's like one of the things we wanted to do when we first got together. So we took a little road trip because we were, for those of you that don't know, we were living in Miami at the time. And we took a little road trip to Key West for a couple nights. And we fell in love on that trip, guys. Right, baby? Yeah. And it was just such a beautiful moment. And I just remember, like, vividly, I remember to this day that we went to this little restaurant it was so intimate the ambiance was amazing and it was kind of like in a tree right like like mm. we were on the second level and they made like a terrace but we felt like we were in a tree and it was just amazing and then i ordered the seafood pasta because prior to being with my amazing chef husband i love seafood pasta i just love seafood in general and i ordered this pasta and it was so delicious it was so delicious right baby mm -hmm. and i told him and like he obviously saw that i was like going crazy over it and obviously, because he's a chef and he's just that good of a chef, that he was able to copycat the recipe and make it. And obviously, it turned out better than the dish that I had there. But yeah, I thought it was a cute little story to share. We had such a great time, right, baby? Mm -hmm. 
for the time before kids. But yeah, guys, that's my story. Comment down below if you want some more stories and subscribe to the Dream Fam if you guys like that little story. You guys want to hear more. <laughs> so, uh, you done with the... Um, yeah. With the garlic, baby? Okay. Yes. So now, I'm gonna, real quick, peel the onion. So we, we're not gonna use um, the whole onion. I'm gonna use about a, a quarter of it. So now, what I'm gonna do with this onion, I'm gonna finally chop it. Okay. Garlic. You're not gonna use your garlic smasher? No, not this oh. recipe. No, I'm gonna use my garlic smasher. So, here yeah, I'm gonna use a mandolin. It's basically uh, do like really thin slices. Okay, so as you can see, I get some thin slices. So, this is important for this recipe the way you slice the, the garlic. I'll do it for you, baby. Yeah, but I'm scared that you get your finger on you, so I prefer to do it for you. Okay. So now I can put my garlic with my onions. Alright, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what we're gonna do with those tomatoes, really easy. Just gonna cut them in two. Oh, I can do that, baby. Just like this, okay? So can you do that? Yeah, I'll do that for you. I right, go, baby. Let me put this in the container. Keep it really professional, guys. This is a professional cooking channel, okay? So don't try to tempt me. Mm -hmm. Try to make me act crazy on my man's channel. That's not going to happen. In this time, I'm gonna do I have my time here, so I'm just gonna remove those little stems. Put it in my garlic and my onions. What's that? Time. Ah. Okay, good job, baby. Really? Thank you. I know that I probably should go faster. I'm sure you would have been done by now. But you know, I want to be very careful not to cut That's okay. Right. It's okay. Right. I don't want to lose a finger in the process, you know? There we go. Okay, so put your knife down. Okay. <laughs> Just going to put them back here. So now what we're going to do, guys, we're going to chop this parsley. Ah. Okay? So you have the parsley. Just take off the, just the leaves. I'm gonna let you do this because I really enjoy the way you chop parsley, or anything for that matter. Oh yeah. Yeah. So now we're gonna chop this parsley. There you go. Do your little trick and look at the camera. And look at the camera. Wow, I'm cutting. Yeah. When we first got together, guys, when he would cook for me, we would have full blown conversations while he was like cooking and chopping, and I was like. And look at that. And he would look me right in my eyes. Mmm. Right. Now chop this pasta. I'll save it all later. I love the smell of parsley. Yeah. Let's finish the the shrimp. So like I say, I save six with the tail. Okay, and the rest I uh, I took off the tail. So now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slice those in two. Okay, so that way there'll be um, you know it will be uh, more shrimp in the pasta, and uh, there will be. You know, get smaller, so you can remove also the, this little vein that's in the center of the shrimp. And now, with the one that has the tail, I'm just gonna do a little incision. I would say. Okay, remove the the vein here. Okay, just like this. So that way, 
when you cook the shrimps on the open a little bit and I'm gonna use those shrimp to decorate my plate so this is a little detail that has a big importance at the end alright guys so now we're done with all the, the preparation that we have to do so we have our cherry tomatoes cut into here are my onions, my garlic and my thyme here I have my chopped parsley I have my shrimp that are already cut into and the one with tail that are open I have my mussels that are clean uh, by the way ok so now we are ready to start cooking those pasta so I'm gonna uh, start heating up the uh, boiling water so for this kind of pasta guys is the only time where you actually don't put salt in your uh, pasta water why? because the mussel juice you know it's really salty so if you already put some salt in your uh, pasta water you're gonna have a part and it's gonna be over salty so let's go Let's go in the uh, let's go in the kitchen now because we're gonna start cooking those pasta, baby. You ready? Yeah. Should I grab the camera? Yeah. You should grab the camera right now. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. So now it's time to to start our pasta. So the first thing that we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna uh, pre-cook our shrimp. So I'm gonna put my pan in really high heat. Put some olive oil. So as you can see, I have already my uh, my water for my pasta boiling. Okay, because you need to be ready for your pasta. Once we're done with the, the cooking the shrimp, we're gonna start the pasta because everything has to come, you know, together at the same time, so it can be, you know, just perfect. So we're gonna start with our big shrimps. So I cook them first in one side, flip them over, and then I add the other one because the other ones are basically. See, cut in two. So these I'm, are gonna cook like really, really, really fast. But this ones are whole, so they're thicker, so they need more time to cook. So now that all my shrimp are in the pot, so I'm seasoning them. A little bit of salt, not too much. So I don't want to overcook my shrimp, so I'm about to take them out now, even if they're not all the way cooked, because I'm gonna put them back in the in the pasta a little later. So you can see the very raw. taking them out now so now we're done with the shrimp so now it's time to put our pasta so those are linguine so they're gonna take about eight minutes to cook it'll depend on what kind of pasta you're using but uh, it's better if you use long pasta uh, which is linguine spaghetti fettuccine it's 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 better okay so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the exact same pan. This is this is also important. I'm gonna use the exact same pan that I use for my shrimp. So now I'm putting my onion and my garlic and my thyme. So we're gonna cook them for about one minute like this, just by itself. And then we're gonna add the mussels. Now I'm adding my mussels. So the mussels are gonna basically open mm -hmm. in my pan and and uh, release their juice. Now I'm putting some white wine. Open. Now you see I have a lot of the juice and everything is open so now I'm just gonna stop this. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna keep my pen right there. Now follow me. 
what I'm gonna do really quick is I'm gonna um, you know take take some out of the shelf. You know I'm gonna keep some for the decoration. Okay, so it's so it can look nice, but it's it's uh, better you know if you uh, take them out of the shelf already. So you know the muscles are really inside your pasta, and nobody has to basically dig in their plate to uh, to take off all the muscles. Yeah, so you do you want me to help you, baby? No, it's okay. And most important thing, guys, can you zoom on the, the muscles? Which and one? Those ones, can you see the juice? So that's really important to save it, guys. Because this juice is going to give a very good taste to my sauce. Okay, so now um, I removed out of the shelf the muscles. Save some for the decoration. I have my juice, so my juice. And the garlic and the onion, so I'm just gonna put it back right into my pan. Okay? You see, I have my seafood right here. I can even put my shrimp in it because now I pre cooked all my seafood. So my pasta are cooked now, so I'm just gonna strain them. Alright, so now my pasta. Start the heat back on this. Alright guys, so now you see the sauce is boiling, but it's important also that you don't overcook your pasta so they can cook in this juice and okay, make the sauce. Right? So now I'm gonna add my cherry tomatoes. And the cherry tomatoes are gonna release some juice as well. So it's gonna help to make my my sauce. Alright, and now I'm gonna add my seafood. So everything is gonna finish to cook all inside my pasta. Alright, so now as you can see, so I have my juice. Okay, that's here. I have all my ingredients, but now I still need to finish the sauce. So first I'm gonna some pepper. Okay. And then I'm gonna add my olive oil. Basically my olive oil is gonna be my sauce with, with the juice that I have left in my pan. So you see I'm stirring at the same time that I'm putting my olive oil. So that way they can be all mixed up together. So as you can see now, I start to have you know, the sauce is getting a little thicker. So it's just going to add a little hot oil and then we have to go. It's important that you do this also with uh, some uh, good olive oil, extra virgin, otherwise it's not going to give a, a good taste to your pasta, so you see. I have my pasta all, you know, creamy with that little juice that I have here. Okay, so now, now it's going to be time for the plate. Alright guys, so for the pasta, you know, you can use different plates, you know, uh, depend of, you know, what you like. Normally it's served in a bowl. We can also use some uh, some plate like that. So we're gonna do both. So that way we can see, you know, how different it looks. So here I'm gonna take my pasta, yeah, just like this. Okay, I'm gonna turn. Take some more pasta.
So that's what's important to see. Can you we see on camera, you know, all this juice that's left here? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's 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 really important. Okay. That's when you know when you're gonna have some good pasta or not. You see? You see dropping the juice? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what's important. Okay, if you see that the pasta is, is, is dry, you know, doesn't have any juice. It's not it's not good. Okay. So now for my plating, I'm gonna have, you know. Remember those shrimp that we kept the tail? Obviously, you see, all these, like what's left, you know, I have a couple pasta here, yeah, uh, you know, a lot of juice, all my cherry tomatoes, you know, obviously this needs to go. So you see all the juice, like in this, we cannot miss that. Mm, they, they see it, trust me. It looks like this might be finished, but we're still gonna add a little touch, okay? I'm gonna add some uh, little shaved parmesan, just to have a little touch of cheese, okay? And what I really also really like for this dish, that's really interesting, is some lemon zest. Okay, so I do it purpose. Put some on the side, and add some decoration. And some taste, obviously. Yeah. And there we go. Just add a little touch of olive oil, guys. It's never enough. And that's it. We have our seafood pasta. Right wow. here. Wow. Bravo, chef. Bravo. Alright guys, so here we're done with uh, this first dish on my channel. So today we had seafood pasta. So I played it in two different things, one bowl and one regular plate. So we can have, you know, two different style, I would say. Uh, I think I prefer that one. You prefer that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, I think you see more of the pasta mm -hmm. and what's, what's uh, you know, around and stuff. You're ladies, right. You're right, pick baby. that one, ladies. Impress right. him, ladies. Impress him or gentlemen. So please, if you have some, uh, some um, you know, comments about this, this video, if you have some question, uh, something you want to know about the recipe or something in general, like please uh, leave me a comment. I promise I will answer you and please make this at home because it's really good. If you like seafood, you like pasta, you know, you can make this at home. Ooh. It didn't take us that, that long to make. So baby, do you want to, maybe for this first uh, video, maybe you should uh, try it. I sure will. So let me just give you what you need, which is. Okay, I'm going to try this one because I actually think we need to take pictures of that one. Okay. Okay. So go. Oh, okay, so I want to get everything. I want a mussel, I want a shrimp, I want a tomato, I want a piece of cheese. Okay. Oh, y'all ready for this? All right. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good, y'all. Wow, Alvin. All right, great. It's so good, y'all. Great if you like it. So now, if you don't mind, can we close this video before yeah. you finish this plate? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so thank you. Thank you for uh, watching this video. 
my first video on my cooking channel. That was a real pleasure uh, to teach you guys how to make this dish. And please subscribe to this channel if you didn't do it yet. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And thank you for having me, baby. Yeah, thank you for coming, baby. And see you soon on my channel. A lot of cooking videos are coming real soon. Like, believe me, it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. So, see you soon, guys. Thank you for watching. Oh,